Welcome, welcome, welcome to Guild Wars Prophecies Let's Play. In this Let's Play, we are going to be going through Guild Wars Prophecies, one of the three campaigns in Guild Wars. Here's the startup screen for Guild Wars and character creation. You can either choose to create a role-playing character or a player versus player character. Uh, for this Let's Play, we're going to be doing the role-playing character. Here are the three different campaigns for Guild Wars. Prophecies, Factions, and Nightfall. We're going to be choosing Prophecies. Here are the six different professions you can choose for Guild Wars. You have the Warrior, which uh, focuses heavily on melee combat. The Ranger, which focuses largely on ranged combat. Monk is the healing. Necromancer deals with death spells and li or bringing the dead back to life. And Mesmers make it really difficult for you to do things casting hexes and spells on you and interrupting you. Elementalists are those traditional mages that do the high power damage with each of their spells. For this let's play we're going to be going with rangers since that is my favorite and probably the one that I know the best. Choose male or female characters when making. There are no races, just humans for you. Um, luckily I already have uh, this kind of chosen out. I think that, is this the style we're going to go with? Or is it this? Who no, 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 no. We'll go with this dude. Looks kind of cool. Anyways, um, Guild Wars is unique in the fact that it doesn't have a lot of customization when it comes to your characters. Uh, that in turn makes for a little bit more beautiful of a game. You don't have the people running around with a six foot heads and, you know, one foot body. So, uh, most characters in Guild Wars are going to be pretty cool looking. I think the character middle height here and then, uh, uh, we'll, uh, have his, uh, colors be green. The armor color isn't really important since throughout Guild Wars you're going to be changing armor a lot and default is gray, but we'll go with green now just to kind of spice things up. Uh, character name. I already have a character name already, uh, chosen, so this is, uh, it's kind of nice. Ufas is, uh, the name of my cat, and Black Rose is a common name among my Guild Wars characters, so, go create. Alright, uh, coming up is Guild Wars Cinematic. You'll be seeing a lot of these when you play Guild Wars, and so I'm just gonna kind of sit back, relax, and let you, uh, enjoy this. The last day dawns on the kingdom of Ascalon. It arrives with no fanfare, no tolling of alarms. Those who will remember will speak fondly of the warm morning breeze. People carry on with their daily lives, unaware that in a short while, Everything they have ever known will come to an end. Scribe? Yes, my lord. These char are relentless, but we shall hold the wall at all costs. Yes, my lord. Take this message to Sir Titus. Go forth and recruit the strongest, the smartest. Bring to me the bravest in all of Ascalon. Find me the heroes who will lead our kingdom to glory. As you command, my king. Alright, if you see in the bottom right corner down there, there's a skip option. Uh, that allows players that have played this game before to uh, skip the cinematics when they come to them, which which is nice if you played the game, you know, only a few, or if you played the game a lot. It's nice to have that. Uh, we're going to just kind of go with uh, watching all the cinematics for now because that's just how I want you guys to see the game since we'll be going through. All right, so this is uh, Guild Wars Prophecies. Uh, we are currently in Ascalon City, and... Uh, Let's go forward. And this guy over here looks like he has something to tell us. Uh, little exclamation points over the head mean that they have some kind of quest or they have something that they want you to do. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click on him and uh, 
see what he has to say. He says, excuse me, you're Mufasa's son, Black Rose, aren't you? I think Sir Titus was looking for you. He said he has some good news for you. Well, pretty cool. There you see our reward, 100 experience and 10 gold. We'll accept this. And uh, you notice on the mini-map you have up in the right-hand corner is what I will be referring to as the mini-map a lot. Uh, up in the right hand corner, that's where it is, you see a little kind of star in the very edge of the map up there. That's telling me over there is where I need to go for this quest. So uh, we're going to continue on over there. Let's uh, walk on over. I'm just going to say for the remainder of these, I'm going to uh, be in a different district. Not not one where you'll find a lot of different human players just because it, it creates a little bit more latency and... I'd prefer just to kind of, you know, have as smooth as playthrough for you guys as possible. You can see Sir Titus over here. He's got a little arrow over his head, meaning, hey, you know, you need to talk to me. I have a quest that you can uh, finish off here. So, Sir Titus says, there you are, my friend. I am glad to have you here. I have news you think you'll appreciate. Okay, we'll accept. Get our reward. I've been looking for you everywhere. The king has ordered a new offensive against the Char. This is a chance for glory and adventure, but you'll need to know all about your cap before going north of the wall. Tell you what, travel to the southwest gate, which will take you to Lakeside Country. I'll have Artemis the Ranger waiting for you outside. She can show you a trick or two. Alright, cool. Now, one thing that's uh, big about Guild Wars is that it's a very instanced game. What does that mean? Uh, as opposed to different memoir pegs, other memoir pegs like World of Warcraft and Aeon, that kind of stuff, it's a game where they're, it, it's very separated. When you go out to kill your monsters, do the quests and that kind of stuff, that is, that's in an explorable area, a completely different area, which you have to teleport to. And, and you only have, uh, you only go with the people that either are in your party or the, that you, you want to go in your party. Right now, the party size is a maximum of two, so. No, it's not too big right now, but we'll go uh, walking down this way. Now, this is Ascalon City. Uh, it's it's an outpost city, town, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is where you buy your armor, meet other people, like actual real-life players you can play with, and, uh, and uh, you buy, like I said, your armor and different weapons, that kind of stuff in the town. So... Uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and go outside this uh, fuzzy-looking kind of wall almost here, a little see-through wall. That's a portal to a uh, explorable area. So we'll go on out there. It's taken us to Lakeside Country, which is, as I said many times already, an explorable area. This is uh, where it's only you. Nobody else can uh, kill, get your kills, get your drops, unless you invite them into your party. So, uh... Do I have a purple bow? I think I have a purple bow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what color that is. Anyways, okay, so uh, this will be it for this time. Uh, next time I uh, will start off with talking to this Artemis the Ranger. Alright, see you next time.